Welcome to Favstar's Modern Warfare 3 Equipment Guide. In today's episode, Thermal Optics. Visibility complaints have been a major issue in recent Call of Duty titles, but fortunately Modern Warfare 3 addresses this concern with a robust selection of optics. Among them are 12 unique thermal scopes, three of which are new to Modern Warfare 3, while the remaining nine are returning from Modern Warfare 2. These thermal scopes offer five real-world thermal imaging color palettes, including traditional monochrome palettes black hot and white hot, sepia amber tint, sepia blue tint, the arctic thermal palette, and the high contrast iron bow palette. In today's video, we'll thoroughly analyze each thermal optic, discussing their pros, cons, and range limitations. We'll also explore any changes from the Modern Warfare 2 thermal optics, and observe how each optic reacts to smoke, explosive debris, and the hijacked IFF strobe gear, helping you decide which thermal optic is best for you in Modern Warfare 3. Before we begin our detailed analysis, it's crucial to address a significant real-world limitation of thermal imaging. It doesn't function through glass. Modern Warfare 3 has faithfully incorporated this reality into the game. Attempting to use a thermoscope through in-game glass proves ineffective, with monochrome thermal palettes experiencing the most severe impairment resulting in nearly zero visibility. While colored palettes fare better, they don't provide thermal highlighting benefits, and you'll need to shatter the glass to achieve full enemy highlighting effects. To more easily observe thermal effects during testing, we'll be using two live test dummies, and the one on the right will always have the hijacked IFF strobe gear equipped, which is the perk which hard counters thermal optics. We'll begin by analyzing the most common thermal palette represented in-game, the White Hot Thermal Palette, which is featured on five different optics, including two brand new low zoom optics the FSS Spectre Microtherm, and the TOS Nightfall 2.5X Thermal Optic. We also have two mid-level zoom optics available in the White Hot Thermal Palette, the Corvus Ghost View, which is also a brand new option in Modern Warfare 3, and the SZ Aggressor IR, which is returning from Modern Warfare 2. For long-range combat, the Corio SZ HS800, which has the highest zoom level available in-game on a thermal optic at 12.5x. The White Hot palette uses a monochrome color scheme and displays warm temperatures in bright white and cooler temperatures appear in various shades of dark gray and black. The hijacked IFF strobe is highly effective against the White Hot thermal palette, and users of this perk will be very difficult to locate. Imaging will remain perfect through smoke, however, high-intensity heat and explosive debris will completely obscure visibility, and you'll need to wait for the debris to subside before thermal imaging will become viable. The White Hot Thermal Palette is range-limited, and effects will begin to trail off at 175 meters. Enemies beyond this range will fade from bright white to a darker gray color, and will be much more difficult to locate. The benefits of thermal vision on an optic with a magnification level of 1.05 is debatable. However, the FSS Spectre Microtherm is quite usable, and since it can be equipped on almost all weapon types, it can be tactically beneficial on a close-range SMG build for capturing objectives in close quarters. The 2.5x zoom level on the TOS Nightfall is well suited for an AR or LMG build on small to mid-sized maps. And because there's no optical glint visible on this scope, pre-aiming high-traffic laneways is a viable and effective strategy. Very similar to the TOS Nightfall, the Corvus Ghost View is well suited for an AR, LMG, or even a battle rifle build on small to mid-sized maps. Locking down laneways with a smoke grenade will yield good results. With a zoom level of 4.0x, visual recoil can become problematic so choosing attachments which favor recoil improvements will be beneficial. The SC Aggressor can be equipped on a very large range of weapons including assault rifles, battle rifles and LMGs. However, with a zoom level of 6.3x, visual recoil becomes problematic with full auto fire, 
and you'll find better results with semi-auto weapons such as marksmen and sniper rifles. The Corio SZ HS800 is only available on sniper rifles and as a result is best suited for long lines of sight and very large maps. Since its extremely high zoom level of 12.5x can very often promote tunnel vision, pairing this optic with lethal equipment which can protect your flank will improve your chances of earning the high level streaks. Next up is the Black Hot Thermal Palette which also utilizes a monochrome color scheme and is the exact inverse of the White Hot Palette. Warm objects appear in shades of black and cooler objects appear in shades of white. The VX350 Thermal Scope is the only optic in game which utilizes the Black Hot Thermal Palette. And as you can see this optic provides a very high level of contrast and target clarity which retains full resolution even when used through a smoke screen. Similar to the white hot palette, environmental and explosive debris will completely obscure the optical lens making it impossible to spot enemies until the debris subsides. The hijacked IFF strobe is highly effective against this thermal palette making enemies almost invisible. The range limitation is exactly the same as the white hot palette and enemies beyond 175 meters will begin to fade and become much more difficult to identify. The VX350 is a very versatile optic and can be equipped on a huge variety of weapon types from SMGs to snipers. However its mid-range zoom level of 5.5x makes it most appropriate on an AR build for mid or longer range engagements. Up next we have the SZ Holotherm and the Thermo Optic X9 which utilize the Sepia Amber Thermal Palette. These optics provide a low contrast thermal effect which produces an orange colored glowing border around the edges of heat sources. When used through a smoke screen the level of contrast will be reduced even further however targets will remain clearly visible. Similar to the other thermal optics environmental and explosive debris will temporarily obscure thermal imaging. The hijacked IFF strobe gear has a minimal impact on this thermal palette and targets will still be quite visible even without thermal highlighting. Unlike the monochrome palettes the sepia amber scopes don't appear to have a range penalty and can actually seem to provide a more intense highlighting effect at further distances. As you can see here at over 180 meters even though the target is much smaller the glowing border appears thicker and is easy to identify. The SZ Holotherm was a fan favorite in Modern Warfare 2 and has returned in Modern Warfare 3. Its zoom level of 2.5x is suited primarily for small to mid-sized multiplayer maps and can be equipped on SMGs if required. The SZ Holotherm is unique as the only thermal optic in game which has the ability to toggle on and off its thermal targeting capabilities. This can be beneficial in reducing ocular clutter when encountering large amounts of environmental debris or when aiming your weapon through glass. The Thermo Optic X9 provides a very clean sepia amber tinted ocular lens which at a zoom level of 5.5x is suitable for mid to long range configurations. Additionally its dual optics toggle ensures close quarters versatility aiding in handling flanking enemies and navigating areas with shorter lines of sight. Next up we have the Schlager Night View and the SZ Heat Source 800 which are the only two scopes in game which utilize the sepia blue thermal palette. A dark palette which reduces eye strain the sepia blue palette highlights heat sources with a thin yellowish glowing border which is noticeably stronger on the Schlager when compared to the SZ Heat Source 800. The hijacked IFF strobe gear provides complete immunity to the sepia amber optics and enemies with this perk equipped will be completely invisible when obscured by smoke. Interestingly even though both of these scopes are using the same thermal palette they both have completely different range penalties. The Schlager Night View's effective range is hard capped at 100 meters and enemies beyond this distance won't receive any thermal highlighting whatsoever. In contrast the SZ Heat Source appears to have unlimited range potential and similar to the sepia amber tinted optics the glowing border appears thicker and actually improves as the range increases. 
The Schlager's zoom level of 6x will provide the most benefit on mid-sized maps and preferably on very low recoil weapons. You'll find the most success by pairing with a smoke grenade and limiting lines of sight to 100 meters or less to take full advantage of the Schlager's thermal highlighting properties. The SZ HeatSource 800 has a very high zoom level of 8.7x and as a result is only available on marksman and sniper rifles. Without any apparent range limitations on its thermal highlighting effect, you'll achieve the best results at very long ranges. Using a smoke grenade will prevent distant enemies from spotting the high level of optical glint, which will allow you to take a little more time when lining up your shots to guarantee the one-shot kill. Next up is the Arctic Thermal Palette, which uses shades of blue for cooler temperatures and golden yellows to indicate warmth. The Teplo OP3 scope is the only optic in-game which uses this color palette. Enemies pop with a high level of contrast and will be easily detected even when partially obscured by terrain. The hijacked IFF strobe is extremely effective against the Arctic Thermal Palette and enemies with this perk equipped won't be affected by thermal highlighting and will be completely invisible when viewed through smoke. The Teplo OP3 is range limited and thermal highlighting effects are hard capped at 100 meters. The Teplo OP3 boasts a clear design, minimal obstructions and provides outstanding peripheral vision making it a versatile option across various weapon classes. Despite its strengths, the Teplo OP3 proves to be sensitive to thermal environments, often facing challenges such as ocular clutter in the midst of intense firefights and atmospheric debris. Fortunately, the Teplo OP3 scope offers a solution with its hybrid format. The Teplo ClearShot integrates the thermal advantages of the Teplo OP3 with the Cronin Mini Red Dot Sight delivering a comprehensive optical attachment that excels in both long-range and close-range combat scenarios. The Drexom Prime 90 is a unique thermal scope featuring the Ironbow Thermal Palette, which uses dark blue for cooler temperatures and magenta, orange and bright yellows for varying degrees of heat. This palette ensures exceptional contrast, making enemies clearly visible even in smoke. However, external heat sources can obscure the optic, reducing enemy detection. Hijacked IFF strobe users are displayed in magenta and are easily visible with this optic even through smoke. The Iron Bow palette is also range limited and will lose its effectiveness beyond 100 meters. The color differential will fade and you'll experience a diminished ability to detect enemies. The Drexon Prime's compact ocular lens, coupled with its relatively high 7.5x zoom level, will often lead to tunnel vision, hindering the acquisition of targets across expansive areas. However, when utilized on long, narrow lines of sight, the optic's crystal clear, high contrast thermal imaging makes this optic a solid choice for a sniping and smoke grenade combination. In such scenarios, it excels at effortlessly identifying enemy threats, even when they are equipped with the hijacked IFF strobe. A final optic worth mentioning is the 3X RFL optic. This optic is intended to provide a more generalized improvement to vision in dark areas and doesn't provide any useful enemy highlighting. This optic doesn't perform well in daylight, and until the release of nighttime maps, there is very little reason to use this optic. Of course, choosing the correct thermal optic for you almost always comes down to personal preference. This time around, my choice is the SZ Aggressor IR, a clean, high contrast optic with unmatched versatility, and its mid-level magnification of 6.3x allows you to take on distant enemies while still giving you a fighting chance for a quick scope if you get caught off guard in close quarters. Of course, this is only one man's opinion. Let me know your favorite thermal scope in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.